Hello everyone, welcome back to Static Cardiology on EMTV. I'll be giving you an ECG rhythm and a scenario. On the bottom of the screen you'll see a timer for 1 minute and 30 seconds. This time closely resembles the average amount of time you should be spending on each card during an actual National Registry test. At the end of the timer, I'll be giving you an answer as well as a treatment. Good luck. 3, 2, 1. So this rhythm is actually deceptively tricky. So let's take a look at it and uh, examine it in closer detail and we'll see if you got it right. First thing you're going to notice here is how slow this is. There are only four QRS complexes here across the six second strip, so this is about 40 beats per minute. Next thing you may notice is just how wide these QRS complexes are. Now when identifying this rhythm, I'm going to be looking for things like P waves. I'm not seeing any sort of P wave in the spot that we would expect it, and I can't really discern if there's a P wave maybe after, late, or in any other spot. Because of the wide nature of these QRS complexes and the fact that I can't find a P wave, I can assume that this rhythm is actually starting in the ventricles. For that reason, I'll diagnose this rhythm as an IVR, or idioventricular rhythm. Let's go ahead and now take a look at the scenario and determine if this is stable or unstable. So in our scenario here, we're going out for what looks like an opioid overdose. In my mind, when I wrote this scenario, I thought of a burger place in mind that's open 24 hours a day, um, but I won't mention the burger place that I was thinking of, but let's go ahead and take a look at it here. So when we get there, we find a 30-year-old male approximately uh, lying unresponsive on the floor of the bathroom. You notice an empty syringe nearby and a small amount of bleeding coming from the patient's left anticubital area. So a lot of indicators here that this is some sort of drug overdose, more than likely an opioid. The patient is apneic, so not breathing, pulse is weak, and I'm getting a blood pressure of 60 by palpation. Now in static cardiology, part of the points come from adequately treating this patient's cardiac rhythm. It's not just about identification. The treatment algorithm we choose is based on whether or not we determine the patient is unstable. For my criteria that I use for determining stability, I use the acronym CHAD. And this, of course, stands for cardiac insufficiency, hypotension, altered mental status, and dyspnea. Based on this patient's initial presentation, as well as their vital signs, blood pressure is 60, breathing is zero, this patient is unstable. So my final diagnosis for static cardiology would be an unstable IVR, or an unstable idioventricular rhythm. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the treatment. So just like with all other static cardiology cards, you should be beginning your treatment by saying the mantra, scene safe, BSI, IVO2 monitor. The next thing we'll do is BBM this patient or ventilate this patient with a bag valve mask, attached to 100% oxygen, because remember they are apneic. 
Because this is likely an opioid overdose, we'll go ahead and administer naloxone 0.4 to 2 milligrams, either given IV push or intranasally. And then we'll consider maybe some atropine 1 milligram IV push. But because this patient is unstable, and so the saying goes, unstable gets the cable, the most definitive treatment here per ACLS is to actually apply transcutaneous pacing. So we'll attach the pads to the patient's chest and then turn on our pacer. First thing we'll do is set the rate, and this can be anywhere between 60 and 100 pulses per minute or PPM, and then we'll increase our milliamperage or current until we see electrical capture. We'll then check a carotid pulse to make sure we have mechanical capture. At this point, as an evaluator, you've given me more than enough information that I need to give you full points, but if you're looking for brownie points, you could also say, I'm going to consider adding a vasopressor like dopamine, norepinephrine, or levofed in order to further increase rate and cardiac output. And that's it. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more static cardiology videos. And remember, you can make your own custom playlist using my static cardiology videos to create your own decks to practice with for your national registry exam. Until I see you next, have a good rest of your evening.